The past few years, the agriculture industry has seen record income per acre and low mortgage rates. Man, we've got a fast run up in land prices. University of Missouri Extension economist Ron Plain says on average, farmland prices increase 6% per year, but twice there has been a deviation from that trend. Back in the 1970s, we got way above trend, and it looks like that's what's happening again. The 1970s run-up of land values created a bubble that burst in the early 1980s, collapsing farmland prices. While Plain says there is a possibility of a land price bubble in the future, farmers are not nearly as vulnerable, and the downside risk is much less than in the early 1980s. In 1981, when we peaked, we were 150% above trend values. Yes, we're above uh, trend now, but it's uh, more in the 20 to 25 percent above trend. A major factor in the bubble bursting in the 1980s was a huge increase in interest rates. And Plain says farmers need to guard against a reoccurrence. If you're going to be buying farmland, try to lock in those interest rates. Don't leave yourself vulnerable to variable interest rates. Uh, when you're at a 60-year low in interest rates, you can about bet the next big move is going to be up. So while today's run-up in prices is similar to the 1970s situation that led to the 1980s farm crisis, Plain says the magnitude of the land price increase is much less, making a repeat unlikely. From the University of Missouri, I'm Jason Vance reporting.